This mine's video to Nick, the modern mystic, uh, great text, and probably Citizen Worm too. Um, this whole straw man crap, I mean, uh, argument that has been thrown in my direction. Um, sure, fine, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm a lizard, I am an ape. Yeah, it's exactly true, okay? That's my theory. Um, and, uh, you know, my lizard still has claws and my ape still has balls. Uh, the truth is, is the intelligence has to come out through the lizard and the ape. <laughs> they're the one that makes it, the, they're the filters, unfortunately. They get, to, uh, they get to have some say in how things get presented. Um, and that's just the way it is. And so, yeah, this is my personality. And it's, it's very apey and raw, okay, underneath it all. It's a good song. Uh, apey underneath it all. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, that's, you know, because I'm a tired I'm a tired ape, okay? I'm a, and I'm a tired lizard. I'm sick of the bullshit. I've been doing this, I think, longer than you, Nick, okay? This talking to humanity thing. I've been doing this for a long time. I mean, democracy ideas I had 20 years ago. I have, I have papers that I sent out in the mail to people on the exact same subjects, the exact same com conversation. Um, I've seen the doom for a long time. Um, I've, I've done the logical equation and say, holy fuck, I can't even get out of this trap. Uh, you know, the, the crazy asses, the you know, voices in the heads of the world are going to be, you know, frying the human race with their ignorance magnifying glass in the future. And I'm going to be one of those fucking little ants getting its, its ass burned, so to speak, uh, metaphorically. Uh, you know, because I've come to this realization that of the equality thing, the thing that you don't get all the time. Well, I've gotten it for a long fucking time. And so I know I'm fucking doomed. I can't even, I can cut my own head off right now and I'm still not out of this game, okay? The game goes on, all right? Um, like, like in Ben-Hur, you know, when the guy's all beat up and ruined and he's just like, yeah, there's still somebody to hate here, okay? There's still a future to be worried about. It doesn't have to have me in it, okay? Because it's a sadistic, insane house we're heading for. We're heading for Planet of the Apes, wacky fucking crazy. And, uh... You know, you you can take a bike ride. I mean, it doesn't bother you, all right. Um, but it bothers the fuck out of me because I don't I don't like these rules. I don't I don't like to to be subjected to raw fucking ignorance deciding the the fate of the human race, and that's what it's going to be. Stupid motherfucking retards are going to decide the fate of consciousness, and uh, I mean it just horrifies me. So my ape is in a bit of a panic. It's damn true. My lizard is pissed off um, because they're saying, hey, fuck that shit. We got to do something. We got to throw some fucking bricks. We got to, you know, pick up a stick and run around and beat our chest and say, fuck you. You ain't going to do that. We're going to stop you, you motherfucker. And so that's how I project. That's how I, the message gets filtered through those two beasties that are just sick to shit of this bullshit. I mean, spelling out the ABCs of common fucking sense, it gets so fucking tired. Um, so anyway, that's the fact, all right? Uh, but my argument to you is, I mean, I could try to be Mr. Spock. I mean, I could just try to be really smooth. Look, you're logically missing the point, you silly, you're not silly person, you, you ridiculous, ignorant per no, you... You, you're just an ignorant person. Well, I don't know if I can say that because that's sort of offensive. No, I can play that game, but bullshit on that. Um, you know, and, and my argument is is somebody needs to, to to have a little fucking passion because nothing gets done unless somebody does. Uh, that would be my first point. Um, you know, my primary point is is I don't know if I can really help it. I mean, I'm just too fucking tired. And I, and I was all I would also counter argument that this is just convenient bullshit. All right, this straw man shit. Um, I've straw manned you basically on two subjects. Okay, one is your your sense of futility, which you know I agree with you. We're, we're, we're really so fucked. Um, but it, that's it, to me, it's bullshit because yeah, there's the future is going to exist, and we can maybe do something to 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 you know correct for how this thing's going to fly off the cliff and what rocks it's going to hit. We have a little bit of power to maybe control what rocks it hits, and uh, you know make the injuries a little less severe. Um, and the, the second one is on this, you know, when you start getting into the economics thing, you keep talking about the, the, the bankers and the this is and the this is and the that's is. I just wish you would genericanize the conversation to the holders of consolidated wealth, okay, of legacy wealth, because that's what we're talking about. And you know it. We're talking about 
that the rich are going to ruin this economy. Everything, anything that happens to the human race in terms of the economy, in terms of it crashing, it'll happen because the rich said it must happen. Because they want their ill-gotten gains to be real gains. It's that simple. We know they've stolen the money. They've stolen from the Federal Reserve, okay, where they get to take the first big giant cut out of the pie. The money from the Fed goes into the, the stock market. They take their big fat cut out of it, all right, and then a little bit trickles down to the rest of the world. Um, and they played this game and they borrowed the 11 trillion dollars I mean you know and they, they they think that that borrowed money is real money and they want to keep it and it's bullshit and you know it and so yeah I push you on that shit because it irritates me that you talk almost like it's some sort of human problem when no it's a rich motherfucking prick problem um, but anyway we won't go into that uh, my, my first my primary argument to you people who make this claim is as you've noticed, I've made 1,100 videos. If you think I've straw-manned you, I don't mind coming right back to the subject again, and I'll do five videos, and I'll, I'll, I'll rip you another new asshole if that's what you want me to do. So go ahead, point to the straw-man argument, and I will rebuild the argument out of solid steel and still shove it right up your ass. So that's fine with me, all right? So just have the balls to point to the straw-man argument, I will rephrase the argument into something really substantial and do exactly what I did with the straw, okay? So it's, it's your choice, but uh, I'm not letting you get away with this crap, okay? So to the people that hear my voice, every time you hear somebody make the accusation that I straw man, just ask them for the goods, okay? Ask them to produce the argument that I can counter argument because I am perfectly willing to unstraw the straw. I'll build it out of cement, I'll build it out of concrete, I'll build it out of anything you want me to. You need a little more proof that you're full of shit? Fine, okay? I'll build my logical machine out of something a little more substantial and I'll run you the fuck over with it. I'm perfectly satisfied to do that. So just oblige these people. As soon as straw man comes out of their mouth, oblige them to prove it. All right, oblige them to, to point to the argument that they think is weak because it's made out of straw, and I will, like I just said, I will, I will pave a new highway right through their buttocks. All right, um, so now on to Gray Text. Gray Text, I will play his video just for the sheer pleasure of it because I'm so sick of this pompous prick. <laughs> so let's go to the videotape. And if this is just for the ape, just for the lizard's entertainment, because this fucker is useless, all right? His philosophy is mush. Let's all sit back and have a cigarette and quit worrying about the reality. Let's not worry about reality, for cripes' sakes. Let's just drink and smoke and, uh, you know, have a fish stick and fuck worrying about reality. I mean, fuck that bullshit. Thank you for the response. Um, it's, good, it's a good thing to analyze Gary from his own model of the mind, the reptile ape intelligence model. And, um, it, uh, yeah, yeah, one, you know, so you ought to just explain that Nick just uh, validated that model and you, you know, just smarmied on it, okay, when you're a little cheap. Your cheap, apish little, let's fuck with the language and insult it with our little wit. I mean, you're playing the same motherfucking game. Good to analyze him with his own model because he's better, he could better understand what's being said to him. And this yeah, nothing's being said to him, okay? You're just sitting there using exactly, you're doing exactly what you're, accu you're, you're accusing the accuser kind of bullshit. Um, you're playing word games, that's all you're doing. So you found this new little word you can play with. Now we're going to play with the word straw man. Okay, it's not going to mean a motherfucking thing, but we're just going to use that new little word. This is an argument I've made to him in the past. Not about the, the brain thing, but the fact that if you want to understand how to get through to people, you have to understand people, and you have to... Right, and you're, you are a perfect demonstration of that, right? You get right through to people. Fuck you, you didn't get through to me with any of your, your babble. Where's your evidence that you're, you have this, um, this way with people? I don't see you having such a great way with people talk to them in a language they can understand. If you talk to Gary in that language, or using his metaphors, he might be able to understand what you're saying. It's like if someone uses an analogy. 
Yeah, well, like I said, I don't. There's plenty of evidence in my videos. I've called myself an asshole. I've said I have an inner asshole. I have, you know, I validated that whole point. Um, I'm not sitting here saying, yes, every time I say skanky cunt, I'm being Mr. Spockish brilliant. That's a brilliant argument. No, I'm just saying, yes, yeah, so fucking what? It's goddamn words. Doesn't mean a goddamn thing. And sometimes. I have to say it right to people. You have to put it right in the front of people's face. Sometimes people don't really understand something's bad unless you have bad language going with it. And then people, oh yeah, that is kind of rude to think white only is okay. That's right. So you kind of have to use rude language to get the point across.